Why are you always staring at that? Have you ever seen a supernova, Jim? Of course not. You're the astronomer, not I. Anyway, I, I thought you wanted to talk about us. Well, that's the point. For fuck's sake, can't you just tell me what's going on? You know, before it turns into a supernova, the sun just grows larger and larger until it bursts. As if it was filled with despair and resentment until it's too much to bear. Yeah, that's great. And, and why are you telling me? You know, I had to look up there to realize what was going on. That you had never planned to join me here. Why you are never here. What do you mean? You're somewhere in an observatory at Atacama. I can't visit you every week. Did or did you not tell Carrie that she planned to return to London without me? Hey, you wanted to come here for your stupid project. It's I a didn't... stupid project now. I'm sorry. Not everybody cares that much about, about a new planet. Uh, I guess I'm not smart enough for Professor Moon. That's why you'd rather stay here than come home with me. No! You, no, you, you I... sit in this place with your bunch of nerds, but I just can't care about a tenth planet. A ninth! See? That's what I was saying. You better stay here in your observatory and I'll go back to reality to England. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to hurt you. I'm not exactly how you meant it. You know, even if it's not a breakthrough in science, this stupid project is my job. And it made me realize what was going on and that you never cared. What's that supposed to mean? I just came here for you. You were never there for me. You didn't support me. You're never here. And now you want to live without me. Fine, do as you want. But don't expect me to run after you. What? what? Wait, wait. Let's talk about this. I mean, we'll both... There's nothing left to talk about. All that's left of our love is a supernova.